I was bad, I'd be shut down a long time ago. Two states tonight are taking legal action against the man you just heard from. That is Student Loan Relief's CEO, Jason Spencer. His company was at the center of a consumer justice investigation last year. The announcement comes as part of the Federal Trade Commission's Operation Game of Loans, a federal and state effort to crack down on deceptive student loan debt relief companies. Our Kristen Severin sat down with Spencer last year and has an update on today's announcement. Customers told me Spencer's company was supposed to help lower their loan payments, but he took their money instead. Now Texas and Pennsylvania have taken action against Student Loan Relief Incorporated. You know, it's say like he put so much into it. <laughs> Jason Spencer struggled to compose himself throughout our interview in February of last year. Why so many complaints with the BBB? Why so many unanswered? I'm ashamed to say it. Um, Basically, because I'm a wimp. Uh, I get on there and it beats me down. You try so hard and to see people on there lying, maybe that's a good enough answer. <laughs> you are that upset over the, the BBB complaints, what people wrote. Yeah, this is what it does to me. But Sherry Fuller, who hired Spencer's company, didn't buy the tears. That was entertaining um, at best. Uh, very insincere. I feel like very insincere. I said I think, I think it was just a show. Fuller owed $100,000 in loans to the University of Phoenix. She said Spencer's company drafted her account but didn't pay the lender. You cannot just do people like this. After our story, Spencer paid Fuller back. It was pretty quickly after the story aired, um, maybe a month. Spencer has always maintained he was one of the good guys in an industry filled with some bad apples. If I was bad, I'd be shut down a long time ago. But today, Texas and Pennsylvania each announced lawsuits against Spencer's company. The Texas lawsuit accuses Spencer of, quote, falsely promising consumers that his company would reduce the consumer's student loan payments through enrollment in student loan forgiveness programs. Instead, consumers suffered financial losses. The former student loan relief offices are now empty. Spencer didn't return our emails asking about the suit. I think he would have continued to do this, um, you know, had it not been for y'all's story. And then, and now, you know, if the feds are, you know, coming after him with it and trying to get a handle on this. I'm consumer justice investigator Kristen Severance, CBS 11 News. The FTC wants consumers to know only scammers promise fast loan forgiveness. Scammers often pretend to be affiliated with the government, and consumers should never pay an upfront fee for help nor share their personal loan information.